Hey zoology friends, today we're going to be talking about the clay Lepidosauria. The main Lepidosaur group we're going to be talking about today is snakes, like this Woma python. Uh, but other Lepidosaurs include lizards, like the Indonesian blue-tongued skink, as well as tuatars from New Zealand. Lepidosaurs are reptiles characterized by hemipenes. That's right, these guys have two penises. Lepidosaurs also have overlapping scales, which can be shed in large patches, like how a snake can shed its skin all in one piece. Our snake of choice today is the turtle-headed sea snake, Amidocephalus emulatus. The turtle-headed sea snake is a marine snake found in coral reefs and rocky habitats off the coast of Australia and surrounding islands. These snakes feed exclusively on fish eggs and live in social groups. Amidocephalus emulatus can exhibit either a banded pattern or a solid dark appearance. Most terrestrial snakes, like this rubber boa from the Pacific Northwest, have increased melanism to help them absorb heat in cool environments. Snakes that inhabit tropical marine environments, like the turtle-headed sea snake, typically have little use for these pigments. That said, researchers ex observed that turtle-headed sea snakes found in urban areas exhibited darker pigmentation than their more isolated counterparts. The scientists also knew that trace elements bound to melanin in the feathers of birds. Both scales and feathers are composed of keratin, the stuff that makes up our nails and hair. They speculated that sea snakes with increased melanin can store trace elements, a product of pollution, in their scales and excrete them when they shed. This study included data from Emidocephalus annulatus in 15 populations across their species range near Australia. Data was collected in two types of locations, industrial zones and non-industrial zones using a mark recapture method. The sloughs, or the skins of the snakes, were collected. The skins were manually removed whether or not the snakes were covered with algae. Sloughs from species of sea crates, another snake in the same habitat with black and white stripes, were also collected and used to analyze trace elements. Samples from each slough were also collected from both black and white segments of the snake. Once all the sloughs were collected, they were then rinsed, dried, and ground into powder. They were then analyzed for trace elements using a plasma optical emission spectrometer which analyzes for elements arsenic, cobalt, manganese, nickel, selenium, and zinc. As you can see from this figure, there were found to be higher frequencies of melanism in Emidocephalus annulatus at urban industrial sites than at non-industrial or river mouse sites. Conversely, there were higher frequencies of banded or botched morphs in snakes located at the non-industrial or river mouse sites than at urban industrial sites. Interestingly, these sea snakes that presented with melanism also had heavy algal fouling and increased sloughing frequencies. It was also found that trace element mean concentrations were higher in urban industrial locations versus non-industrial and river mouth locations, with the exception of the two other polluted non-industrial sites, the Samurai's Reef and Ashmore Reef. Finally, the analysis of sloughed skins from the Lodicane species, the researchers found a correlation between darker bands and higher concentrations of trace elements in the sloughed skin when compared to lighter bands for all trace elements as seen, as, this, as seen in this figure. Further, there were no significant difference between concentrations of trace elements between E. annulatus and the Lodicane species, which means that melanism benefits snakes in many regions. All these finding, findings together indicated a strong link between melanism in E. annulatus and better resistance to high concentrations of trace elements in polluted sites, such as urban industrial sites. In a time of increased anthropogenic extinction and environmental destruction, it is inspiring to see a species evolve to meet the challenges of a changing environment. <laughs>